Happy New Year. I'm Mark Cohn, and since the early part of 2023, I've been out on a medical leave of absence. So this is a somewhat of a comeback for me. And I'm very pleased to be able to share predictions for 2025. I want to talk about three distinct initiatives in three areas. One, the first being uh, market adoption, so an initiative that is gaining traction and that's been significant, and that's private networking. Private networking, and by the way, not just private 5G, but private networking is leveraging the 5G infrastructure, but also private uh, or local wireless as well. This initiative was driven initially by industrial automation, but is now expanding to new verticals. And market projections are indicating double digit, well into the double digit growth. And we are expecting to see additional application areas as well, such as healthcare and financial services, both of which are driven not only by the need for connectivity, widespread connectivity, but also by regulatory driven privacy and security considerations. Private networking is also going to provide operators with a way to monetize their 5G investments, which is clearly first and foremost on the minds of many in the boardroom. The next area I want to talk about is a technology initiative that's an enabler for many different application areas, which is edge computing. This one feels familiar. It's almost like deja vu all over again. We're seeing edge not just provide the means for content delivery, not just be able to support virtualization, which is how it was perceived in the past, but now we're looking at uh, a range of new application areas as the ability to deploy compute and storage near customers, and at the same time, be able to leverage the low latency characteristics of 5G enable a whole range of new application areas, but private networks being one of them. Now, the third area is one of innovation, but it's one that is, uh, doesn't need a lot more uh, background because many of you have heard nothing, no, a nonstop stream about artificial intelligence. AI, I, I feel almost obligated to address, is gonna provide an ability for telecommunication operator, operators to revamp everything from their operations to their customer management with not only extreme automation, which is what they've been uh, pursuing with their orchestration initiatives, but also to be able to leverage the intelligence that's gonna enable things that were otherwise uh, in, infeasible. However, AI is also causing a lot of industry consternation and concern. As an example, I went to the Open Compute Project uh, OCP Summit recently in San Jose, or at least I went to a discussion after the first day of the OCP Summit, and that revealed that everyone is talking about one thing, which is power consumption, power density, cooling, liquid cooling, innovative ways to generate power, cooling, and, and everything else under the sun when it comes to hard infrastructure. Well, that's a pretty different anomaly, and that, to me, suggests that we're going to need to think about re-architecting to be able to leverage distributed computing, not just centralized mega data centers that are, that are, starting, to be, that are starting to hit limits that are going to be difficult to uh, overcome. So um, this is going to be an interesting year to come. I'm looking forward to seeing how things are going to unfold, especially in 2025, but in the next couple of years beyond that. And for those of you who uh, wish to reconnect, I certainly welcome that. Certainly do that based on my LinkedIn. Thank you very much.